guys thanks so much for coming back to my channel today I want to share with you Cottrell's room I know Cottrell's already moved out for college but he's about to come back actually today with all his stuff so my goal was to tackle his room and to get it done while he had a majority of his stuff out and this room is going to stay this way <laughs> He is going to stay on this way and I'm going to stay on him. And I believe it will because he's doing a great job with his dorm room. But I also know that he has guests, you know, friends come into his room. So he always want to make it, make sure that it's presentable. And so, you know, your room at home is a little different. But for some reason, my children think that these rooms belong to them. So they do what they want to do. And so Trail had... I will insert some pictures. Um, some of them I may not because I'm a little embarrassed. But Trail had like trash. He likes to come up and sneak stuff in his room that he's been doing this forever. Like food or water bottles. And he just don't throw it away. He um, just aggravating guys. And so, so much so that I think that he had like around these traffic areas. You see a spot there. And it doesn't look that bad on camera, but it's just some wear and tear. But along the edges, the carpet looks really great. So let's get started with this tour. There are some things that I still want to do in his room. What the boys will do, which I said in another video, if you watch, thanks so much, all the video, most of my videos, that I said that I will eventually, like JJ will move to this room, Josiah will move to JJ's room, because all of the rooms are not equal in size um, all the boys rooms so this room is more of a guest room or um, I guess your older kids room or however you want to do it and my husband made a point move them as they get older um, and when Cottrell like finishes school or something and he has to come back or if he has to come back to put him in the smallest room so he won't be so comfortable comfortable that they don't want to leave and then also Jason made a point to where you don't want your guests to have the largest room in the not the largest room but the largest of your spare bedrooms so that makes totally sense that makes so much sense and I totally agree so probably next year even though I did this room Four Trail is also a guest room because my mother-in-law, we went to Vegas, she was able to sleep in here instead of in my craft room. Like she hasn't stayed in a while and my craft room is all done up before it wasn't. It was just that big couch in there and um, this works out perfect. Like if someone wants to stay over or sleep over. So one of the boys rooms will be like a guest room and I can fix it up. But um, anyway this worked out great for her and then when they're all gone i can do this room up super super how i want to do it for a guest and that will be awesome but that will be a while <laughs> that will be a long time because Josiah's just now going to kindergarten okay guys so let's get started i did this room on a budget and i didn't want to spend a lot on any project that i did in the home I wanted to use what I had in this amazing how of course you know what a can of paint will do I the color on the walls I believe is sleepy hollow by Sherwin Sherwin Williams I love Sherwin Williams paint I always use it on my walls on my baseboards on the doors wherever so I always use their paint sometimes I'll go to Home Depot and use the is it bear paint but I love Sherman Williams paint. I love the cashmere because I know that I do not do it all in one swoop. I take my time. I might do some of it and then I'll come back and do the other. If you see my craft room video and it, you don't see any mismatch paint or anything. It's so beginner friendly. The cashmere low luster, I believe paint but they only sell it in the gallon so this is sleepy hollow that's on his walls so starting over here this is his dorm room mirror and Cottrell had to switch dorm rooms simply because he was in an older dorm that I did the tour that I did his room up and everything 
and they had a mold issue Katra has asthma and mold started like popping up on their belongings and stuff so they had to move and he moved to a newer dorm which already had a mirror so they probably will have these again at big lots I think it was like 10 or 12 dollars and I waited to when they had the friends and family and got the extra 20% off the lamp I did get that from GCF the Goodwill Community Foundation they were $6.99. This was so perfect because it was already masculine. It wasn't, you know, girl, I didn't have to spray paint it or anything. But what cost the most was these lampshades from Better Homes and Garden from Walmart. I'm going to turn it off so you guys can see a little bit better. It has this tweed finish or fabric and I just absolutely love it. It's so pretty, or I should say masculine and chic. And so neat I'm trying to think of manly words but it was like $16.99 so that was quite pricey but I think it was worth it and then from Dollar Tree I just put this God bless you up here and then he can like I purchased this from Walmart um, from Dollar Tree and sometimes now I make sure do I have a purpose for it before I purchase it because I don't want I've been hauling for a long time I don't want I'm tired of the clutter so I think this will be really, I didn't really have a purpose for it, but I think this will be really neat for him to like lean his phone up against it or something like that. Because otherwise I was going to take it to the Goodwill. And then there, here is an old picture of Trail. And I don't know where I got that photo frame from, but I had it for a while and I thought it would look great in here. Picking artwork for boys can be really challenging, but I really enjoy the challenge with them because it's so easy to pick up things that I like that I love but to make it masculine and something that will work for them and their space and they like I, I'm up for the challenge every single time so I got these from Walmart and I was just walking by and I said this would be so perfect for Cottrell's room and I thought about it I didn't get them right then and then I saw that I can just order it online and pick it up so these were $50 I knew there would be a task to put up I did use the two hooks in the back I was trying to just use the one hook at the top but they're canvas and they were $49.99 Cottrell's headboard this is just amazing I just love this color it is so pretty the mineral in the Waverly chalk paint this I had to do probably I did two coats and then he got it like dirty because I started the room and didn't finish and then I did three coats and now it has wax on it and also his dresser over here it was a that light oak color these were actually came from my mom and she no longer needed or wanted them because she has like a tufted headboard and so I said well I can put it in Cottrell's room and he had it in the oak color for a while so um, it worked out really well it worked out perfect for his room and I just love the color combo and the contrast it looks really well the brown pillows in the back Cottrell likes a lot of pillows so I know a lot of guys whatever look that they're going for that's fine I try to do what my children what they like what their preference is so they'll be comfortable um so anyway I had these brown pillows that were on my old couch and my family loved them and so we kept probably over half of them some of them I end up taking putting them in the trash because they were just it was just too many and I was using them like as floor pillows but anyway I brought them in here so I thought it would be great to tie in some of the browns that we have in the room and then I got him a jersey i think it's called jersey sheet set from walmart and i actually ordered online they were out of it but they were so nice great customer service because it was one in stock and they must couldn't find it and they just sent me an email and they ordered it somehow on because i didn't see it online for myself but they ordered it and it was in stock in queen so it comes i think it was um 19 dollars. you get two um, pillowcases and then a flat sheet and a fitted sheet so this is that jersey material that feels like a t-shirt 
the bed spread guys i had for a long time i'm embarrassed to say how long i had it they may still have this bed spread i know they still did for a long time the um bed spread is separate from the shams and these are the standard shams i don't know if they come in king or not but i wanted to pull out all the different some of the different colors and at the time control was still in high school his high school colors were orange and so I was going to pull out some of that orange and put it throughout the room. But now, you know, he's at a different school. I can still pull out the blue from A&T and the gold and stuff like that um, later down the line. Like if he has something he brings home. So I thought this was really, I don't remember the prices, guys. But if I find it, I will link it down below. The bed skirt, I was trying to get my steam cleaner, y'all, to work. But it didn't want to act right today. And so the bed skirt, I had to order it online. I didn't, I couldn't find any in the store or did I? I don't know. But anyway, you can get it online, different sizes. This one is, can convert from a full to a, full to a queen. So I thought it was, it has like a little piece of Velcro in the middle. So I thought that was neat. And then over here, just his other nightstand and all of that. And then I painted his dresser, like I said, the Waverly chalk paint and the mineral. And Trail has gotten some of the knobs missing. I was able to find some of them. But Walmart, luckily, has the same metal knobs. Um, so that's perfect. I think it's a pack of 6 and a pack of 12 and I believe the larger pack is like $19. I don't remember what the pack of six. So I only need four down there. And I ran out of time with this going out of town. This is just a basket that I had just laying around. And I thought he could just drop his stuff in here. And then I thought I would put his little pins that he used to be in chorus in middle school and high school. These are some of the pins that he got from Allstate and stuff. So I thought I would put it up there. And then I put, use a Dollar Tree frame and put his picture in here. And then these are just uh, some decor pieces that I had downstairs that I have just too much decor. So I thought I would bring it up to his room. I did, which this came from Aldi. And I believe this came from Aldi too. So I love Aldi, y'all. Y'all know that. And then so I did see two things. It was two or three different other decor pieces that I wanted to put in his room, but from Big Lots. But I said I would just do this for now. I may go back if they still have it. It was like a little clock that I wanted to put in his room, and um, but it was like a desktop clock, not that you put it on the wall. But he looked like he does need a clock on the wall. Okay, guys. So over here, the curtain rod I already had already. For another room, I think I took it down. I don't remember. I like that in the morning time through the afternoon, Katra has like, or all the boys have a lot of sunlight that comes in their room on this side. And I have to order Katra another panel because I ordered his panel, which this came from Target. I think it is so pretty. It's like a denim. It looks like it's jean material. Let's see. But he threw it away trying to so-called clean up his room. But he accidentally threw it away trying to so-called clean up his room and not clean it up correctly. Dumping like trash and stuff into a bin. And so what I had to do was some of the things that I purchased for his room like his sh shams, his comforter. And those curtains, and I don't remember what else, I had to just take it out of the room because I'm like, you can't be wasting money like that. So they were on sale last week for $9.99 or $9.98 at Target. And I bet they're not on sale now, but they don't cost a lot. And I have to get another panel. So that's why he only has one. And it is, what's it called? Light blocking. The darkening curtains. And I just don't... I love the color of it. I I love the length of it and everything, but I just hate that it blocks so much light even now with just one panel. So imagine with two that it's going to block a lot of light. So he's going to have to probably tie it back. I know I would if it's my room, but you know how boys are. 
Over here in his little desk area, I wanted to get Trail a desk to do his homework. I always love a desk. I love an office area. No matter what house we lived in, I figured out a way to have me some type of little desk area. So, um, JJ has one. Josiah, of course, doesn't have one yet. But, Trail would do his homework on his bed, like, forever. And I would say, do you want a desk? And he'll say no. I know he needs a desk. And when he come home from school on the weekends or whatever, he would be at the kitchen table, which I know that was probably fine with him or whatever. Or he'll be on his bed. But I just thought this room would be perfect. He had the space for a desk. So I got this desk from Walmart online. Com. I didn't get a huge desk because at first I don't know how much he'll use it and then he won't be here um, that much during the school year. So I just got him a little small desk. It was so easy to put together, y'all. So easy. <laughs> and then up here I had these pictures. Um, not pictures, but these mirrors. And I had these. I can't remember where I got these from. Maybe Roses or Aldi. I can't remember. But I thought they would work out so well in his room. They were so perfect. And I was like, you know what? Before I take them to the Goodwill, let me bring them in here. On his desk here, I just have like a little elephant. And I painted it blue. It was like a teal aqua blue color that I had in my living room years ago. And so it was another thing I was about to take to the Goodwill. I had this pencil holder. This is not from Dollar Tree. It's like, it looks like a Dollar Tree one, but it's like... Uh oh, when we have for years, this is a Dollar Tree frame. I'm gonna let him put whatever he wants to put in here, and then a Dollar Tree lamp, those sunbeam lamps. But I wanted him to have the newer ones that they have out because I was like, Oh, I don't have an extra black one, so they always have them in our stores. And if I see one, I'll put it there for him. Then I put like some notebooks here, y'all, and then his printer is down there. He could never get it to work. So I'm going to mess with it to see if I can get it to work because I end up bringing, bringing it some things home. Hey, Saya. You just woke up. Good morning. <laughs> and then I got him a little trash can um, from Dollar Tree. I thought that would be perfect. He doesn't need anything solid because he will throw stuff in there and it will stink. So Josiah is sitting in the office chair. And this is actually my office chair. And I haven't decided if I'm going to give it to Cottrell or not. So I'm not sure. And then we had to bring this home. Because when he got to the new dorm. He didn't have enough room for this. So we brought this home. And this will probably be for his TV. But actually I purchased him a TV stand. The Better Homes and Garden one. I'll see if I can find a picture and insert it. But right now. It has all of their gaming stuff on it, and it looks like a hot mess in the hallway. So the boys, they play their game in the hallway where I used to have my old craft area in the hallway, if you guys remember that. And that way, JJ, we monitor JJ like how much he is playing and what he's playing, but mainly how much he's playing. So this is why this is here, because otherwise it wouldn't be here, because Trail's about to bring his TV home. I would pull that out instead of um, leaving it in the room. And then, so guys, that's it for Trail's room. I'm so happy how it turned out. It looks like a total different room in here. It almost looks like, you know, when you come and visit the model homes and... You know, there's no clutter in the room and it's clean. And you're like, oh, you know, because this room certainly didn't look like, <laughs> didn't look like nothing. It just looked terrible. And I just cringed every time I walked by because his room more so you walk by his room versus the other boys. Their room is like tucked in a corner. But again, I have to get a panel over there. I would like to get him another light fixture eventually. Let's see. Oh, it's right there. You can't see it through the camera. And then he needs an area rug on the floor to anchor the room. But I ran out of time before we went on our trip. So I didn't have time to get it. And he comes back home again today. I'm trying to think, is there anything else? Those knobs over there. And 
um, to fix up his closet and maybe another piece of artwork on the wall maybe over here or maybe over there I'm not sure but yeah so guys thanks so much for watching as always and I hope you guys have a great and wonderful day week weekend when you see this bye bye you say bye